Before Kendall was diagnosed with um, dyslexia, she was, she was frustrated, I was frustrated, it was very difficult. Um, I assumed she was being stubborn, it was very hard on her when it came time to read because the teachers kept telling me you need to spend more time with her, spend more time with her. And I felt like we were adequately spending the time she needed to learn how to read. She just couldn't pronounce the words, follow the story, she didn't, she didn't know how to read. They kept saying, oh, you, if, you, if you can't do it, you'll be grounded. And I kept trying to do it. But every time when I was trying to do it, do it, I, I didn't know what the words were or I had a lot of trouble with it. School was very difficult. Uh, I find myself tearing up a lot and uh, getting not a good grades as I thought I could get. I see people get like A's and B's on the test and I look at mine and I have like a C or F and I would figure out why, how come I can't get that and I always thought I was stupid. We were frightened for him because he was shutting down on every level, felt so frustrated, felt so stupid, felt so unworthy really and incapable. And that word dyslexia changed everything for him. Dis means difficulty and lexia means language. So dyslexia is a difficulty with language. Um, in a little bit broader terms, it's a language processing disorder. It can impact reading, spelling, writing. Dyslexic kids are smart kids. Um, Sally Shaywitz, I think, said that a, a dyslexic it has like a weakness that's floating in a uh, a sea of strengths. They have all these strengths, but they have this weakness. And I think it's up to the teachers to have themselves to a point in their professional development where they're able to help these kids. And not to just assume the negative. Teachers get absolutely no training on dyslexia. And these are not just regular teachers. Teachers who have a master's degree in reading. Teachers who have a master's degree in um, special ed. I'm a special educator, that's what I went to school for, and I had a class on learning disabilities and we had one hour where we talked about all the different types of learning disabilities and in there that word dyslexia was thrown out um, as a possibility of something you might come across as a teacher. It's not improved since then. We need to educate ourselves on dyslexia because um, the thing is we see them first kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade. Dyslexia is a lot more common than most people realize. In the United States, it affects one out of five. That's 20%. And the earlier we catch this and start dealing with it, the faster we can close the gap, get them back on track, and this won't hold them back from achieving whatever they want to achieve in their life.